When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the world. Hey, everybody. Empire. Jerry Williams, a.k.a. Greater Sapien here. Thanks for stopping by. Today, we look at number 51 of Eric Dubay's 200 Proofs, Earth is Not a Spinning Ball. Dubay says... Antarctica is by far the coldest place on Earth with an average annual temperature of approximately minus 57 degrees Fahrenheit <clears throat> and a record low of minus 135.8. The average annual temperature of the North Pole, however, is a comparatively warm 4 degrees. Throughout the year, temperatures in the Antarctic vary less than half the amount at comparable Arctic latitudes. The northern Arctic region enjoys moderately warm summers and manageable winters whereas the southern Antarctic region never even warms enough to melt the perpetual snow and ice. On a tilting, wobbling, ball earth spinning uniformly around the sun, Arctic and Antarctic temperatures and seasons should not vary so greatly. Dubé is making a common apples and oranges comparison here, although I guess it would be more accurate to call it land and water comparison. Antarctica is a continent made of land covered in ice. The North Pole region is water, often frozen into ice, but not entirely, and not always. Water can only get so cold. Land, however, can get much colder and can stay cold longer. I'm wondering if this claim is tied to the one where he claimed Antarctica was an ice continent? Like he actually thinks Antarctica is just a bunch of ice, like the Northern Polar region? He makes the claim that the temperatures shouldn't vary so much, but he has no factual support for that opinion. And like before, that opinion is undercut by the fact of the variation of temperatures in places like Death Valley in California and Memphis, Tennessee, which are at the same latitude even on a flat Earth scenario. I'd argue that Dubé should try to be consistent, but undermining his own position is something he does very consistently. Planet to even challenge me. Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory. 